T- so tell me about this. What's the genesis here? Where did it all start? Well, I just happen to save everything. I, I save everything. Like anything that like causes a reaction to me, like I, I, I just save. I can't help it. Like I have every single like ex boyfriend on like voicemail. You know. Well, you you like you uh, you save that you hoard the voicemails. Too? I do. I hoard everything. I hoard. Wow, I hoard weird. data. I guess I'm just like really interested in like studying it later. Like I want to go back and listen to them, and I like looking them at you know as a big group. It's just it's the memories. It's just, yeah, it's just yeah. Com- it's just weird compulsive behavior, I suppose. But I don't know. It just I, I start saving them too because at, fun- at first they're really f- funny. They're like, they're they're dark and like fucked up. But there's an aspect to them that was definitely entertaining because, I mean, what other way can you really look at it, you know, well, to really actually deal with It's a coping mechanism, you know? Well, let's, let's, let me just put this into context here. So Harrison looked up your, uh, your Instagram page. It's at perv underscore magnet. Read one of these, one of the choice ones here so people can understand the type of correspondence that Mia would get on, the, what, like a daily basis? Every day? At some at, at one point, definitely. I mean, I, when I used to be in the band and I was on MySpace from what was like oh, 2003 yeah. to 2008. Pervs loved MySpace. Yeah. You know, during that time I had to promote my band a lot. So I was online a lot and ended up with 110,000 MySpace follower, followers. And, and wow. you can imagine like the influx of crazy fucking messages I got during that time. Well, especially MySpace, because that was like the first, you know, social media yeah, platform. Like that one in Friendster. Yeah. yeah. And like then it's just like, you know, who knew it was going to contact? Yeah. Anyone could contact. Yeah. There was no block. You could block people. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, to be honest, you're kind of a fetishist wet dream. So I imagine you probably got a lot of creepy people. I got a lot of creepy people. I mean, I think being four foot nine and <laughs> like Asian... You know, it just kind of alternatively, and and it looks like you like stepped out of an anime, you know. Right, like, I mean yeah. Japanese. Exactly. And, yeah. So I think it, I can I can understand why why uh, people would be attracted to you, but the fact that they would actually take the time to write you a disgusting, vile message that is psychotic. Now that just is going into the deviant realm. It is, but you know, it happens to every single fucking woman that I know. It, yeah. I mean, I think I just got a large volume of them because I'm a musical performer, you know, and. I have to like semi be in the public eye, so I get a large influx of them. But I don't know any woman that has not gotten a fucking disgusting message, you know. So even a girl who's like just a normal, like an attractive girl, oh, not in a, not it in a band matter. or anything, still like people will send like on Facebook. Yeah, absolutely. I don't. know. Every woman I've ever known who's been on Okie Cupid just you, get every day you get them. you get these yeah hey, you get these messages. I get, like I want to fuck. So, you so read one of these. Uh, one of uh, your, your your picks here. All right, here's here's one that's a little. Not too crazy. Right, put it in a good pervert voice. Though. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do it in, in character. Hi, Tina. I'm very interested in buying some of your worn shorts and worn leggings with your worn panties to wear. <laughs> oh, God. What do you know, okay? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, he wants to buy your, your panties? That was yep. actually not sent to me. That was a submission that I got. Oh, I'm taking okay. Other, I'm taking all the Roman submissions, too, because I'm just... Because I'm only representing a small sector of, like, very specific pervert messages, you know? Okay, so, you're, so you have other girls... I have for, other um, women submitting um, them. Yeah, yeah, so other forms of harassment to, mm-hmm. from other girls. Okay, because when he said I'm Tina, totally... I was about to say... Is Mia I, have I thought, another well, online these, moniker or something? Well, some of these people can barely like write a sentence. You know what I mean? Well, they're probably foreign, though. Aren't yeah. there a lot of foreign so they're, people, they're too? Lot, yeah. they're, they're universal, definitely. I mean, the most recent one, like right before that, is pretty pretty harsh. Is it, yeah, read, read, read me one of the, just the vile ones. I want to see this here. All righty. And this so, has been 10 years in, the, in, in 10 years of collecting these messages. Yeah, yeah. So 10 years of being harassed online. Like, seriously, I think I've had maybe one message from a weird girl all this time. Yeah, no, it's a fucking... Like, guys just don't do... Guys, well, guys do the harassing. Yeah. Because guys are just vile creatures. They really are. That's uh, not the <laughs> Here, Here's part of one that, that I think is the one you're talking about mm-hmm. that really disturbed me. Um... You should come to Honolulu so I could force feed you Purina and dick the way you should be fed. <laughs> what? Well, Purina? In context, it's actually worse because he says, he says, I'm not saying this is a racist. I'm saying this is a speciesist, and Chinese people are fucking dogs. No, I'm not even Chinese. Um, but then he goes, they are not human. You should come to Honolulu so I can force feed you Purina and dick the way you should be fed. Which is weird, because wow. all I get out of that is he feeds dogs, he force feeds dogs Purina and dick. 
Yeah, I mean, it sounds yeah, it sounds <laughs> like he it feeds sounds dogs? like. But he thinks you're Chinese. <laughs> he thinks I'm Chinese too. You don't look Chinese at all. Obviously, this There's guy, some yeah. Slight variations. And... Well, I guess you're Asian. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but you know, some of my favorite messages that you've posted are, are like the multi parts. Like there'll be four parts of this message. It's like, right. no, the guy's not done yet. He's going <laughs> on for round number two, round number three, and it's like, God, stop! <laughs> this is this is becoming horrible. I know. I know. So, They're what terrible. was your reaction when you first started getting these? Were you just like, were you laughing? Were you sending it to friends and being like, laughing. this is hilarious? I mean, one really sticks out my my mind is like the first one I ever got was this guy who wanted to be taken to a deserted island and roasted alive on a spit and then eaten like he was trying to arrange like a private plane and I'm like that doesn't even make logistic sense like <laughs> Wait, he wanted just... you to do this yes oh I mean wow. he kept like talking about it at least I don't it's not logistically possible you can't just have someone fly to desert island and then leave with one person no, I don't. Yeah, I don't think I don't it works it's just like that. Sense. Yeah. It's really messy, and it's just not my thing. It's, um, it's, so you got that one, and you're like, "This is weird. I'm gonna and save this like, over like, here on my I'm hard like, drive." That's <laughs> fucked up. I'm like, "That's fucked up. I'm saving it." <laughs> so I saved it, and then more came in, and then I got, and then I started getting things like death threats. Like I, ha- I had a website for a while, and I had like I blogged for a little while, and you know I have weird interests. I like shit like, you know, like nanotechnology and transhumanism, and like you know, like a band abandoned buildings and stuff like that collecting human teeth you know kind of weird you got um, some varied interests yeah, yeah yeah and so it attracted a lot of weirdos because i'd write about that and go figure and i yeah. you know got a small audience from that too and and then someone started writing me and um saying that they were gonna come to my house on my birthday and kill me and he was like implying that he was gonna steal my underwear and sniff it and he would name all these landmarks around around my home to know oh, man you know, where so I, I mean he actually knew where you lived yeah and so I called the police I called the police and did they do anything no because this is like 2000, 2001 or something. Like, the internet was barely a thing back then. Yeah, they didn't hey, take Sarge, shit seriously. what's this here internet thing you're talking That's about? That's exactly <laughs> what they did. I called them and I was like, this person is threatening my life. And they are like, turn off your computer. And I was like, no, this is a real person. Like, the, it's not a video game character that's, like, threatening my life here. Yeah, you thought you lived in the, in the machine. Yeah, he, yeah. he thought, like, he was part of the hard drive. <laughs> it, was, it was so strange. And, and so I actually ended up hiding out in Japan for, like, six months. Oh, you actually fled the country because of this country, guy. I fled the country because I was fucking, I'm like, I'm, like, I'm not going to be here for my birthday. I don't want some guy breaking into my house and stealing my underwear and killing me. God, I'm so glad I'm not a hot chick. <laughs> Could you imagine? It's. It, it, I mean, the, the amount of hate on this thing is is the really misogyny. Is, is that's, astonishing. Yeah, it's that's really astonishing. that's what's the most unsettling. Yeah. Yeah. Re- read another one here in your in your fine inflection. <laughs> uh, <laughs> good well, there, cannibalism <laughs> does seem to be a theme. Perverted cadence. Here's yeah. Here's Rock Taro, and he says, "After I dissect you, I'm going to cook and eat your upper lip first. Wow. Yeah, pretty, okay. Yeah. Pretty, so that, that's a that's dark. a theme. That's a recurring theme, though. Yeah, I, I get. Yeah. I get some the, people. A lot of people want to eat account. you. Yeah, and and that's pretty scary. Um, there's some <laughs> other people that want to be eaten, which is a little less scary, but. It, it, or would you say most of the messages are sexual themed, or are they mostly misogynistic, well, the, or are they? I think the 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 goal is is definitely. Um, sexual yeah. I mean definitely the the, the origin for, the you. origin is definitely sexual for sure so what what is your motivation with this uh, this Instagram are you like you're publicly for, shaming I am publicly shaming but you know there's a lot that I can't publicly shame too because it's fucking scary like rock taro I don't rock taro to you know so you don't want to push them me. over the edge yeah I mean you're I, skirting I a fine I line there I know though. exactly it is really scary but I also think that it is actually very important to bring to light that this shit is happening out there you know I think you're doing a service like seriously, I think you're you're drawing attention to something that all women face online. Yeah, you know, like idiots think they're anonymous. They they send threatening messages. Uh, you know, they sexually harass women, and they just think I'm online. She's not going to do anything. Right. I live exactly. in like you know Tokyo. It doesn't matter. But then you know what? Actually, now I'm going to post your picture online, and everyone's going to laugh at you and comment on you. You know, comment on your post. 
Right. So, so I guess take note there, sick and wrong listeners. <laughs> Some of you harass a woman. She's probably saving your message. You that right dick picture. Sl- like, save her. Like yeah. Me. How many dick pics do you get on a regular basis? Oh God. Actually, not so much lately. I think, but I definitely used to get a pretty fair for men. Oh God, they're the worst. It's it's not attractive guys when you send a disembodied penis. It's just it's, it's just a picture looking. of a dong, or is it? Can you see their face with the dong? Usually, just their dirty fingernails and just like <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> disgusting penis. How many dick pics have you sent, Harrison? <laughs> I, I, you like know, in honestly, your career, unsolicited dick pics. No unsolicited. I've never How sent many unsolicited. unsolicited dick pics? One. <laughs> I think I've sent three, mm. I think. Solicited yeah, ones. solicited. I've never actually just been like, you know, that's the thing with what a lot of these like millennial, And like the one time do. where it was solicited, I was like, all right, well, I got to get the lighting over here and the thing. And <laughs> well, then I'm like, well, yeah, should... like neurotic yeah, about yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I got to get the clippers out and the whole, it's the whole thing. I had to do, it was like, all right. I do like a little beauty shoot It took like you. a whole day, you know, it took an <laughs> entire powder, day. Powder do you have to fluff a little bit <laughs> just like... <laughs> give it a pep talk the whole thing. <laughs> let's yeah. go here it's go time yeah no you know i just, I just snapped a picture of it i don't want to hide my shame she'll see it eventually um yeah so uh, you know how many so how many of these perverts have actually apologized like have you ever had one that been like you know what i'm sorry for doing this i was drunk i had some uh i had one guy that i can recall like who sat on string of really fucked up messages to me they were just he was like a leg and foot fetishist and but like you know he really and, and he was definitely very sick but he wrote me later and he was like i'm so sorry i was off my medication i didn't mean to send you those and i was like okay you're off the you're, you're off the hook, hook. you're not gonna <laughs> sorry, put him on yeah. the curb magnet <laughs> no 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 i mean he, he generally felt very bad about it you know um and um but i have actually which is really interesting one of the interesting reactions from this has been that a lot of people are terrified to talk to me now. They're just like, I want to show you these, you know, books that I have, but I'm scared you're going to think I'm a pervert. And I'm just like, <laughs> no, it's fine to show me. What are the books of? Like, rape? No, it's fine. Like, you're kind you know? of a superhero in a way, you know, <laughs> exposing the pervs. And then I've got some people that have written to me, and there's like, I sent you a kind of weird message seven years ago. Um, I just wanted to apologize. I'm like, I don't know who you are. I don't think I saved that one. I don't Please think don't it was. Shame me. <laughs> <laughs> some of the, it's weird because some of them are like, very few of them because most of them are horrific but some of them are like you could tell the person was trying not to be creepy they're just fucking Which a creepy person creepier. you know creepy. read, read yeah. one of those You're like okay like um i just thought you should know i see you i see past the facade past the bluff past the style past the exterior nice as it is i see the you <laughs> that you protect I just thought you, you should know that there is one person in the world <laughs> that sees the you that you should be. Yeah, that guy knows so, the real me. So what, what's going to happen? Like You're going to read that and be like, okay, I'm in love with you now. You see the real me. Let's hang out. Yeah, yeah let's go to Olive yeah, Garden. I, 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 I have not responded to like maybe 99.9% of these messages. It's very, very, very rare. Wow. So, you, you know, your site came out like... You just launched it like three weeks three ago. Three weeks ago. Just put it on there and all of a sudden you're like, why, why Instagram? Why not just uh, like Facebook or... Um, I think Instagram is a perfect medium for it. I mean, originally the idea was to make a coffee table book out of out of these messages. I still think you should. Actually. I really want yeah. to. I really, really want to. Um, and I just thought it would be a good way to kind of test the waters and like see and the reactions. it's been good though. Yeah, it's been... Very positive. Like really surprisingly positive. Um, I mean, and you've gotten some press too, like uh, Huffington Post. Mm-hmm. I saw that, and you told me CBS was reaching sick and wrong. Is reaching out to you? That's crazy. <laughs> My God, yeah, this internationally renowned podcast. <laughs> anyway, it, it your site is hilarious. I look forward to it Thanks. every day because I'll see the post. You post a couple a day, at I least post a couple. Like, posts. Yeah, maybe like one to one to yeah. three a day. And so I'll see it while I'm at work and just start laughing. And people will be like, "What are you?" I was like, "I don't want to talk about it because." <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's really funny, but it's also it's really fucked up too. It's, it's dark. Really yeah. dark. There's it's, some really. It's definitely dark. But I think people, you know, honestly take note. 
you know, perverted guys, but like, you know, high school kids out there that think that they can go fuck with a girl online. She's probably yeah. storing your messages somewhere. And eventually she's going to do something no, it's, with these. No, it's been great. It's been a great bonding experience, actually. Um, because women are just like, thank you so much for doing this. Like, I, I felt really isolated. And, like, this is great that you're showing that this happens to us. Men, it's like... It's empowering. Right, right. And, 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 and guys are just like, holy shit, I had no fucking clue this was going on behind closed doors. I had <laughs> no idea. I, I'm so sorry you're encountering this, you know? And We are filthy creatures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we really are. Yeah. You know, I would. Yeah, I would there's... never want to have a daughter. I would be. Yeah, uh, mm. gonna get a vasectomy tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so people, it's if you go to Instagram, it's at perv underscore magnet. And some uh, I'm gonna, shit. yeah, it is some fucked up shit. It is good reading, very entertaining. And uh, me, I hope you keep doing it. And I'd Thank love you. to see a coffee table book out of it. I hope, I hope it can cool. come out. <laughs> and I hope no one ever tries to like shoot the president and then say they did it for you or something and something insane like that. Know. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope no like, one shoots me. That'd be really cool if none of you kill me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah please yeah, don't guys, kill me. Yeah. Come on. Don't stab <laughs> yeah. me. Seriously, guys. 